emotional, difficult battle between the nurses and the hospitals. And this woman, Trish Doherty, has been in the middle of it all. So it's not totally one nurse to so many patients. The spokeswoman for the Twin Cities hospitals. She's made some of the nurses so angry that this morning one of them looked her up. I just did a Google search. That's all. Amy Vanderlees found an old 2006 article about Doherty's past. We've confirmed she confessed to stealing thousands from a Sioux Falls hospital when she was head of HR there. She used the money to landscape her yard. Well, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I mean, here we have a woman who is the spokesperson for the hospitals who has a criminal history of embezzling $15,000 from a hospital. Vanderlees posted the article on Facebook this morning and within three hours, Doherty was fired. The hospital say they just learned of her legal troubles today. Their statement went on to say, throughout this process, we've made every effort to be respectful of the nurses and the community. And this development falls short of the level of integrity the community has a right to expect. It falls short of our expectations for ourselves. On its website, the Minnesota Nurses Union turns to pro athletes to deliver their message. I just want to say thank you to all the wonderful Minnesota nurses out there for all the great things you guys do. Twin Cities hospitals also used a pro, spokeswoman Trish Doherty, to represent their point of view. Until, that is, nurses learned on the internet that Doherty, an RN herself, is also a convicted thief. So we want to know what you think. Do you think the one-day strike by these nurses will affect your health care? You can post your opinion by going inside the box at WCCO.com slash ITV. Several people have already done that this morning. For example, we got this comment from uh, someone calling themselves Proud Nurse. This is not about money. Uh, it is about patient safety. Multiple research studies show patients are better cared for with more RNs on the job. Proud Nurse goes on to say many don't understand that nursing is not like other jobs. We literally hold lives in our hands. Emma is three. She has a rare genetic disorder, Cornelia DeLange syndrome. She's been in the hospital 24 times and on the picket line once. Emma's mom decided to march for the nurses and talk for them. After seeing this Share Your Story section on the Minnesota Nurses Association website. A few weeks ago, during a stay at Minneapolis Children's Hospital, Emma's IV came loose. There was nothing going in, and so blood started flowing back out. And was all over her clothes, all over her, all over her bed. I'm afraid to know what would have happened if I wouldn't have been there to see this. How long would have it had gone unnoticed? Robin Kissock says she tries to stay with Emma because she thinks nurses are stretched too thin. That's pretty, pretty strong emotionally. And as opposed to, we're just talking about money here. Joe Daly is a law professor, an arbitrator, and a mediator. He says patient testimonials can really grab the attention of the general public. Go Vikings, let's win this game. Go Vikings, honor. Hi, this is Chris Cluey from the Minnesota Vikings, and I just want to say thank you to all the wonderful Minnesota nurses out there for all the great things you guys do. Thank you. Yeah, actually, my mom is an anesthesiologist, so she works with lots of nurses. <laughs> I have a, uh, actually have a pretty big fan base back in California, and all the uh, nurses in the hospital where my mom works. As, as my mom describes it, the, uh, the nurses do all the work, and then the doctors take all the credit, so <laughs> it's the... Uh... Cindy Olson. I'm one of the nurses on your bargaining team for the Minnesota Nurses. Um, yesterday we had a negotiation session with the hospitals. All the hospitals were present. I guess the one good thing about negotiations yesterday was that we did meet face to face with the mediators. The top people from each side were able to at least meet and converse some. The sad part is, is they were unwilling to meet this weekend, Friday, Saturday or Sunday and progress and hopefully come to a settlement. <laughs> 